Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading for Aquarius. Uh, what is your life's purpose for January 2023? You can apply this to any of your placements. So we're going to take a look and see how your journey is going regarding your uh, life's purpose. Uh, and then we'll uh, see what your life's purpose is, how you could get there. Uh, what you need to work on, look out for, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, uh, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Uh, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Aquarius people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. All right, so Aquarius, let's get started here. Tell me about Aquarius. How is uh, Aquarius's journey going regarding their life's purpose for January 2023 for Aquarius? How is Aquarius's life's purpose, their journey going regarding their life's purpose for January 2023? Okay, so we have the Three of Pentacles here. We have the Five of Cups. One of the things I'm getting is that, you know, the people that you've worked with or the people that you've come across in life here, I feel like a lot of people has disappointed you, Aquarius. Uh, the Hierophant. King of Swords, you know, I feel like, you know, one of the things I'm getting here is that, you know, your life's purpose is to have a better, better understanding of yourself here. You know, I feel like when you have a better understanding of yourself, you can deal with these disappointments or that you could deal with people a lot better here. You know, I just feel like, you know, there's an the energy of you, you know, really tapping in or connecting with the divine here, okay, a higher power or just, you know, gain knowledge and wisdom from you know like a master a teacher here okay or that you guys are meant to teach some uh you know people on how to you know connect with themselves here you know sometimes you know that hierophant doesn't have to be doesn't have to represent someone that's spiritual but it could also uh, you know represent someone that has a lot of knowledge wisdom you know this could represent someone that's you know kind of like a therapist you know you just go to a therapist and speak to them you know and sort of like and you know you know get uh, you know tools on how to best navigate through certain uh, 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 situations in your life. So uh, the uh, Hierophant, Taurus energy, the King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. We have Temperance and the Tower. Sagittarius energy, the Tower, Aries, Scorpio energy here. You know, I do feel like you're getting these like major aha moments here. I do feel like your angels, the universe is kind of like trying to shake you and wake you up here. Okay. And I feel like you are being woke here because I feel like whatever this is, I feel like there's an energy of you moving towards your destiny here, you know, with the Ten of Swords and, and the Wheel of Fortune. So whatever betrayal, whatever hurt that you've been through, whatever disappointment that you've been through here, you're realizing or that you're coming to a realization that you can't change people. All you could do is change yourself, okay? So, you know, I feel like you are taking this opportunity here or, or that, you know, there is big changes coming towards you, okay? The Hierophant, you got the Six of Swords, the um, King of Swords, and the Six of Wands here. Finding that balance here is really important for you right now. This is so interesting. Six of Swords and the Hierophant, you know, there's an the energy of kind of like, you know, to me, the first thing that came to mind is go with God. Yeah. Go, go with whichever deity that you believe in, whoever it may be to you. Okay. Uh, because I do feel like there's a sense of co like confidence here, you know, of sort of like moving through some painful situations that you've been through here. Okay. Tell me about the, uh, the uh, temperance card, Sagittarius energy, the death card, Scorpio energy, the tower here and the four of wands here. 
you know, one of the things that really precipitated this is perhaps there was a huge shift in a romantic relationship. Yeah, I feel like you had to go through this in order for you to sort of like, I feel like you had to go through this major shift in this relationship in order for you to pursue your life's purpose. Does that make sense? All right, the four of wands here and the death card. You're definitely going through like a major spiritual transformation here. Uh, um, Aquarius, it could be a situation that you've never believed in spirituality before. You know, you thought this was silly. This was, uh, you know, there's nothing to it. And I feel like when maybe the separation happened or this big shift that happened in this relationship, like I said, it really precipitated that, okay, maybe there is something to it or that you might have had an awakening or that you might had heard the voice of God or something like that, that, that sort of like really precipitate, precipitated the spiritual journey that you're on. Okay, um, let's see. Uh, what is Aquarius's life's purpose? How can they get there? What do they need to look out for? Work on here for um, January 2023 for Aquarius. All right, wow. Ten of Pentacles here and the Eight of Wands. Wow. Aquarius, just wow. Abundance is flooding in for you. Yeah, it's coming in really, really quickly. So whatever has happened here or will happen, this is going to completely change your life here. This is meant to happen here, okay? We have the lovers here and the two of wands. You know, I feel like you have, you're going to have to make a decision here. And I feel like this decision that you're making here, you know, you're going to choose yourself. Yeah, you're basically going to choose yourself here. Gemini energy here with the lovers, the ace of swords here, and the magician. So what we have here is Aquarius. I feel like you're finding clarity, clarity through spirituality. Like I said, I feel like there was an energy where I feel like you didn't have like a spiritual bone in your body. You didn't believe in it. You know, you were just like, this is, you know, Looney Tunes. This is BS. You know, I'm not into the whole, you know, kind of like, you know, you know, spirits and ghosts and, you know, whatever it may be, I feel like you're finding clarity through that now, okay? And I feel like you're understanding manifestations here too. Yeah, because I feel like you didn't know what that was or that you didn't know how to do that. And I feel like now you're, you have the tools or the knowledge and the wisdom to do that now, okay? Uh, the Magician, Gemini, Virgo, tell me about the, ten, the Ten of Pentacles here. We have the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. Tell me about this Eight of Wands here. We have the Six of Cups. So, an old part of yourself, the things that you have learned, the things that you were leaning on, this is no longer serving you anymore. There, you know, it's not showing here, but there's just a huge shift in perspective here for you, uh, 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 Aquarius, okay? So let's say, you know, you grew up Catholic, okay? You might have come to a realization that this religion does not resonate with you anymore, okay? And I just feel like you're kind of like creating something of your own that resonates with you, you know? You know, it could be that you don't completely resonate with it, but you might be taking little bits and pieces from the Catholic religion that resonates with you. And then I feel like you're taking that with you as a part of your journey here. You know, you could might be in this energy of being open to connecting with other spiritual practices and religions, you know? Um, you know, I just feel like, you know, it, you know, there, there's like sort of like this all inclusivity. It's not like one specific thing, you know what I mean? So the six of uh, the lovers here and the high priestess, the two of wands here and the six of pentacles. Wow. I feel like your psychic abilities are opening up here too. You know, there's an energy of definitely eventually like one of your life's purpose is be being of service to others here, giving back to others. Yeah. So, you know, this is, this is, a, you're seeing a clear path here for yourself. Uh, Ace of Swords here, Seven of Pentacles, that's not the Seven of Pentacles, the Chariot here. You know, I feel like, you know, moving forward, I feel like you're more in control of your life here too, okay? So the chariot, this is so interesting. This chariot is a DJ person, okay? And there's going to be some sort of balance here too. I mean, this person has a yin and yang t-shirt, uh, you know, 
uh, uh, on them. All right, the magician here. And then we have the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. One of the things I'm also getting here is that I feel like emotionally you're connecting with yourself here too. Uh, you know, because like not all Aquarius are the same, you know, so, you know, some Aquarius are known to be very emotionally aloof, but I feel like there's an energy of you connecting with your emotions here. Okay. Then we have the nine of pentacles on the bottom of the deck here. I mean, this is looking really, really, really good. All right. So Aquarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.